Hi, Jess from Brixis here. Do you use the industry standard CAD platform? If so, this video is for you. I've asked Sabir to test how easy it is to migrate from AutoCAD to BricsCAD and to document the process along the way. So let's see how he went. Thanks just for that nice introduction. If you are a user of AutoCAD for quite some time, you will find it very difficult to switch over to other CAD solutions because your muscle memory is almost accustomed to the way you work in AutoCAD. BricsCAD is a modern, cost-effective, smart CAD solution. In this video, I'll demonstrate how an AutoCAD user will feel more at home after migrating to BricsCAD. So let's get started. When you launch AutoCAD software, you will get an interface to start a new drawing from scratch or from any of these existing templates and over here you will get a list of a recently opened documents. I'll click on start new drawing to open a new drawing. Using the BricsCAD launcher you can choose any desired interface based on your license level. I'll click on 2D drafting now you have got a similar interface which you have seen in the case of AutoCAD using which you can start a new drawing from scratch or by using any of these templates you can open any of the recently opened files. I'll click on new drawing to create a new drawing from the scratch. When you analyze the interfaces you can make out a close resemblance. In AutoCAD at the upper left corner we have an application button when you click on this button, we have number of options to open new files, open existing files, save a drawing, print, publish, etc. At the upper left corner, we have a toolbar with icons with similar functions. Similarly, in BricsCAD, we have the BricsCAD icon at the upper left corner. When you click on this icon, we will get similar options to open, save, print and publish drawing files. And we also have a toolbar on top with icons having similar functions. In AutoCAD, there is a workspace switcher on top using which you can change your workspace from drafting to 3D modeling or any other workspace. And we also have a layer pop-up on top. In BricsCAD, we have a layer pop-up, but we don't have the workspace switcher over here. But you can easily switch your workspace by right-clicking the mouse on the ribbon interface and click on workspace and you can choose any desired workspace. In AutoCAD, alternatively you can switch workspaces by left clicking on the gear icon at the status bar down below and you can click on any desired interface. Similar to this procedure, in BricsCAD at the status bar down below, you can right click at the drafting icon and you can choose any desired interface. In AutoCAD, at the title bar, we have two online services. Over here, we have online help available. You can input any keyword and get a corresponding help. Over here, we have logged into Autodesk A360 cloud service, using which you can integrate your desktop software with mobile computing devices. In BricsCAD, if you click on this question mark symbol, you will get the online help and the cloud service is called Brixis 24 7 and it's available in the tool panel. You can log in with the user ID and password to access this service using which you can connect your desktop software with mobile computing devices. In AutoCAD, commands are grouped in a ribbon interface which is subdivided into panels. Each panel consists of number of commands for a specific application. And you can see a number of tabs here when you click on each tab, you will get a ribbon corresponding to that tab. In BricsCAD, we have a similar ribbon interface with panels and tabs on top. When you click on each tab, you will get a corresponding ribbon as you have seen in the case of AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, each drawing is opened in a tab. By clicking on this plus sign, you can open a new drawing and these are called drawing tabs. Similar to that, in BricsCAD, each drawing is opened in a document tab. By clicking on this plus sign, 
you can open a new document. In AutoCAD, we have a command line at the bottom of the workspace and the commands given by the user will appear at the command line. Once a command is given, the prompts and the previously given command will appear on the screen and it will stay for some time then disappear. Whereas in BricsCAD, we have a command bar at the bottom of the workspace. The commands given will appear at the bottom of the command bar. On the top of which you will see the prompts and the previously given commands. Both command line and command bar can be turned off and on by using Ctrl 9 key combination. Now the command bar is turned off. In AutoCAD, once the command line is turned off, the commands and the prompts will not appear on the screen. But in BricsCAD, even if you turn off the command bar, the commands and the prompts will appear on the screen. It will stay for some time, then it will disappear. In AutoCAD, at the bottom of the workspace, we have Model Space and Layout tabs and a status bar with 29 settings. Each of the settings are toggles. There is a customization button at the rightmost end of the status bar. The settings which are checked will appear at the status bar. In BricsCAD, we have model and layout tabs above the command bar and there are 27 settings at the status bar which are toggles. You can activate any of the settings by clicking on this arrow at the lower right corner. The settings which are checked are active in the status bar. In AutoCAD, we have menu elements called palettes. Click on layer properties to get the layer palette. Press Ctrl 1 to get the properties palette. But in BricsCAD, these palettes are called panels. When you click on this layers icon, you will get the layer panel. When you press Ctrl 1, you will get the properties panel. You will also get these panels from the tool panels. You have layer panel here and the properties panel, etc. But sometimes, some of your favorite AutoCAD palettes may appear to be missing in BricsCAD. For example, if you give DDIM command for Dimension Style Manager, you will get a different interface. This is called the Drawing Explorer. This is a single integrated interface in which most of the panels are integrated in BricsCAD. For example, if you click on Layer, you can see the Layer panel and click on Textiles to get the Textile panel. Dimension Style, Table Style, everything is available in a single, intuitive and easy to access interface. You can invoke this interface either by inputting the Explorer command or by clicking on the Drawing Explorer icon right at the middle of the standard toolbar. In AutoCAD, if you press Ctrl 3, you will get tool palettes, which is a very useful interface for an AutoCAD user. But in BricsCAD, you can access tool palettes by right clicking on the tool panel, then hover the mouse on panels, then click on tool palettes. And this interface can be dragged and dropped onto the tool panels and it will remain here. The tool palette files created in AutoCAD can be taken to BricsCAD. In AutoCAD, when you hover the mouse on an object, you will get useful information called rollover tips. In BricsCAD, you will get the rollover tip only when the RT button at the status bar is active. Now when I hover the mouse, I have got the rollover tips. But you will get more information here along with the object type, radius, area, etc. In BricsCAD, these properties displayed in the rollover tip can be customized for each entity type using the customize or CUI command. Now, let's open a drawing that is created using AutoCAD. This is a 3D model of a house. You can see the UCS icon over here, which is your construction plane. And you can get various views by clicking on the hotspots of the view cube. You can hold down the shift key and press the scroll wheel of the mouse to orbit the camera around this model while you visualize. 
since BricsCAD is based on the industry standard DWG file format, you can open, create, edit and save DWG files. I'll open the same drawing file in BricsCAD. You have the UCS icon here at the lower left corner. Instead of view cube, there is a look from widget at the upper right corner using which you can view the 3D model from various angles. I'll click on this particular point to get a top back right view. Now again back to top front left view. When you right click on view cube in AutoCAD, you will get limited options. Whereas when you right click on the look from widget in BricsCAD, you will get a number of useful options. A number of viewing tools and commands are integrated in this menu. When you hover on UCS, you can create a new UCS or you can restore an existing saved UCS. Now while hover on view, here the saved views will be displayed and you can also create a new view. I'll click on view 1 which is a saved view. Now I'll right click again on the look from widget. Visual styles can also be changed from here. I'll click on hidden to get a hidden representation. Now I'll click on modeling. You will get a unique shaded representation which is not seen in AutoCAD. Now right click. Then you can change the viewing mode from isometric to a twist mode. Now when you hover the mouse on the look from widget, you will get an arrow indicating the angle of twist. When you move the mouse, the length of this arrow will get changed and a corresponding twist angle will also be displayed. I would like to twist the view by 30 degrees. So you just make a click there. Now the view is twisted. Twist it back to 30 degrees. So that is twist mode. Now I'll come back to isometric mode and you have look from settings. Control the number of parameters related with this widget. Using the location option, the location of this look from widget can be taken to top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right. I would like to take it to top left. Using the WCS and UCS options, you can switch to UCS and back to WCS. Using the dismiss option, we can turn off the display of look from widget. Then give look from command and click on on option to restore the look from widget. The BricsCAD user interface is muscle memory compatible with AutoCAD interface. The command syntax are identical and you can work in BricsCAD the way you work in AutoCAD. Let's create the simple 2D drawing using AutoCAD and BricsCAD and let's see the command and prompt sequences side by side. I'll start with the circle command. Click on center diameter option. Pick to define the center point of the circle and I'll give the diameter as 1.5 units. Then click on circle command again. Click on center radius option. Pick the center point as the center of the circle and the radius is 1.5 units. Now I'll click on the copy command. Select these two circles. Give enter. Choose this center point as the base point of copy command. Keep the cursor in the rightward direction and type a distance of 6 to define the second point. Give enter. Now draw a line from this quadrant point to this quadrant. Give enter. Give enter to repeat the line command. One more line from this quadrant to this quadrant. Give enter. Next by using the trim command, I'll trim off the unwanted portion of the circles. So give an enter and select these two circles and give an enter. Next click on the line command, draw a line from this midpoint, keep the cursor in the downward direction and type a distance of 0.5. Give enter. Next I'll give move command, select the line, give enter. Pick this point as the base point. Keep the cursor in the leftward direction and type a distance of 1 units. Next I'll give copy command. Select this line. Give enter. Choose this point as the base point of copy. Keep the cursor in the rightward direction and type a distance of 2. Give enter. And one more enter. Next draw a line from this end point to this end point and give an enter. Click on trim command, give an enter and select this line 
and give an enter. Now it's clear that you can work in BRICS CAD the way you work in AutoCAD. I hope this video has given you some vital insights on migration from AutoCAD to BRICS CAD. In BRICS CAD, we always have the freedom of choice. You can choose from various editions of BRICS CAD from light to ultimate, ultimate being the complete one, and you can either subscribe it or buy it online to get a perpetual lifetime license. So migrate to BRICS CAD and experience its smart and intelligent features. Eventually, I'm sure you will feel more at home in BRICS CAD, a better home. Please feel free to contact me for any queries on this. Thank you so much for your time.